parts of San Bruno, California, were turned into a raging inferno around dinner time Thursday evening. Flames roared some 60 feet into the air as block after block in this residential neighborhood, about five miles from San Francisco's airport, were engulfed. Witnesses reported hearing and feeling a large explosion, leading to early speculation that a plane may have gone down. It sounded like a jet, almost, like a, just a giant roar and then the, the biggest boom I've ever heard in my life. But it was a high-pressure natural gas line that ruptured, caused the explosion, and then fueled the spectacular blaze. The local utility company, Pacific Gas and Electric, says they will be accountable if it's determined they were at fault. A terrible, terrible tragedy has fallen on our city this afternoon. Our main concern as public officials here, making sure our citizens are, are safe. The view from the sky revealed a large swath of the neighborhood reduced to embers and ash. More than 50 homes were destroyed and more than 100 damaged. But I lost everything, everything. I understand that. It's gone. It's history. As firefighters fought the blaze from the ground, airplanes swooped in, dropping flame retardant in a desperate attempt to keep the blaze contained. Images we're accustomed to seeing during fires in the forest, not the suburbs. We're asking anyone that is evacuated, get onto the bus. More than 100 people were evacuated to two nearby shelters. Longtime resident Bob Pellegrini didn't need anyone telling him to leave. I've never, ever felt heat that intense, ever. It was, Is there it was, any way to describe what you were feeling? It was like hell on earth. It really was. It was like hell on earth. I mean, it was like all you see is 80-foot flames and, and intense flames. 